House Speaker Nick Mattiello held a closed-door caucus of House Democrats to discuss the proposal to move the Paw Sox to a new stadium. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado, who is live at the State House with more. Steph? Well, House Democrats just finished up that closed door meeting to decide what to do about the Pawsock Stadium deal that came over from the Senate. We just learned they decided whatever happens, they're not interested in sending the issue to the voters. The future of the Pawtucket Red Sox remains up in the air after the Senate passed legislation earlier this week to allow public financing to contribute to the new stadium in Pawtucket. But in the House, Democratic Speaker Nicholas Mattiello has remained noncommittal, at one point floating the idea of a public referendum on the ballot in November. That changed in today's closed-door meeting. I learned that my colleagues don't want a referendum vote. Uh, but they do want the deal improved and, not, and they don't support this particular deal. It comes after a Senate lawyer sent a memo to the Senate president saying, in his opinion, putting the Pawsock Stadium on the ballot for the voters in November would be unconstitutional. The attorney writing, the power to make and declare laws is vested exclusively in the legislative assembly. And the Rhode Island Constitution explicitly enumerates which measures must go on the ballot for voter approval. This is not one of those instances. Mattiello says that wasn't why House Democrats decided to pass on a referendum. I don't even know if my colleagues were aware of it, didn't come up. It made no impression upon me. Um, I, I think uh, folks just believe that it's our responsibility, up or down, to, to, to make the decision. And, Matty, and Mattiello said the Democratic caucus also discussed possibly renegotiating the deal to put more of the risk on the Pawsox ownership group and less on taxpayers. The bill is now in the House Finance Committee. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.